Following the likes of Samsung, Huawei and Honor, Motorola, Xiaomi and Oppo, we have a new contender in the foldable smartphone market. The Vivo X Fold is the first of its kind to pack, not only Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, but also an under-display fingerprint reader. The ultrasonic kind on both its main and external screens, instead of having a side-mounted capacitive sensor like other foldables. Sadly, this device is only available in China for now. Much like the Huawei Mate X2 and the Oppo Find N, the X Fold also adopted a water drop flexion hinge design to achieve a gapless fold while minimizing its foldable mold panel's crease. But Vivo took things one step further. When opened, a zirconium alloy floating middle plate rises up to gently push against the flexible panel, thus smoothing out the remaining crease. While this sounds impressive, we'll have to see it in person to believe it. According to Tuv Rhineland, Vivo's X Fold can survive over 300,000 folds, 100,000 more than Oppo Find N certification. Assuming an average user would open and close a foldable phone 80 times a day, the X Fold should be good for around 10 years of daily usage. That is, of course, assuming you can tolerate the 311 grams weight for that long. Samsung and Huawei latest large size foldables only weigh 271 grams and 295 grams, respectively. For a foldable phone, the Vivo X Fold packs a surprisingly powerful set of cameras. For one, this is only the second foldable phone to carry a periscopic zoom camera, 8 megapixel, 5x optical zoom, optical stabilization, after Huawei Mate X2. The X Fold also comes with a 50 megapixel main camera, Samsung GN5 sensor, f1.75, optical stabilization, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, Sony IMX598, f2.2, 114 degree field of view, low distortion, and a 12 megapixel portrait camera, IMX663, f1.98, 47 mm equivalent focal length. And yes, you get Zeiss T coating here for its anti glare properties. It's a similar setup to the X70 Pro Plus, except for the lack of micro gimbal and missing optical stabilization on two of the cameras. In terms of screen aspect ratio, Vivo settled on somewhere between the tall Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the white Oppo Find N. The external screen is a 6.53 inch 2520 x 1080, 21x9 panel, while the main screen features an 8 inch 2160x1916, 4x3.55 panel. Both are Samsung E5 mold nature and support up to 120Hz refresh rate, but only the bigger panel features adaptive refresh rate to further save power. These screens also pack their own 16 megapixel f2.45 selfie cameras, though you can always open the phone and toggle the rear selfie mode to leverage the more powerful cameras instead. Like its competitors, some of the X Fold's built in apps tucked inside the Android 12 based Origin OS Ocean take advantage of the foldable form factor. For example, the camera app offers a kickstand mode which is handy for time-lapse videos and low-angle shots. You can also use the device like a laptop with the built-in notes app, and likewise with third-party Chinese apps like QQ for video calls and Yuku for video streaming. Hopefully Vivo will extend these benefits to Western apps ahead of a possible international launch. There's still a list of features worthy of mentioning. The 4600 mAh dual cell battery supports 66 watt wired charging and 50 watt wireless charging, along with 10 watt reverse charging to help your friends in need. In fact, the X Fold comes with an 80 watt USB PD GAN charger with two USB C ports, so you can charge your laptop with it as well. The phone itself also packs a Sirius Logic CS43131 hi fi chip, though number 3.5 mm headphone jack, three microphones, stereo speakers, a barometer, various heat dissipation features, and an infrared port. A common feature on Chinese phones for controlling home appliances. And for the first time, Vivo added a physical silent mode slider, which is otherwise only seen on Apple and OnePlus devices these days. The Vivo X Fold is already available for pre-ordering in China, with the 12 gigs of RAM, with 256 gigs of storage version, asking for 8,999 yuan, around $1,410, and a higher-end version with twice the storage going for 9,999 yuan, about $1,570. You can pick either blue or gray, both wrapped with vegan leather on the back. If you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up, share the video with your friends. Just hit the subscribe button, and most importantly have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video, see you.